So Nick's daughter read my book. And she now wants to come and hang out with us in Florida. Aww. Yeah. Well, they've already put it oh, up. Oh, they've already put it up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go just see if anybody yep. needs any prayer. Let me put all this. Okay, so. Okay. There's ladies that have been here since. Uh, ladies are coming from Napa, Napa, Sacramento, Ukiah, which is three and a half hours away. Wow. wow. Good. Um, cool. They, some of them have been here since 8 o'clock this morning. Oh ladies my God. Cool. So, cool. Cool. All right. Who needs prayer? For body, body pains, body pains. Body, body pain. pain. No emotional stuff. No emotional. No emotional. We're talking body. 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 You got uh, one metal hip, a metal hip? I have two metal hips. I have bad knees. I've had plantar fasciitis. I just got healed me of that, but the stiffness, they say, is still there. What's your name, baby? Missy. Missy? Okay, ready? Lord, I ask that all the things that she's been through, in the name of Jesus, Childhood that she would be trauma. flooded yes. right now. Good right now. Now, I command that I judge those trauma trees in your brain right now that grew in that memory your bank of yours. I cleanse them. Memory bank with the light of Christ right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, no, no, let go. 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 Let Oh, it's going for about a year now. Did it start after a trauma? Did you have a trauma? Then the, no, no, nothing traumatic. No emotional trauma. Well, a lot of traumas. Yeah, my, but my mother passed away. My father passed away. When was that, baby? About two years ago. I'm so sorry, honey. Okay, we're gonna get you healed of that. Okay. I, I speak to the trauma trees in your brain and I pull them out at the root. I speak to them in your heart. I command your heart to come together in one piece. Your broken heart, come together in one piece. Your broken heart, come together in one piece. In one piece, I command it. I judge hell for taking your heart captive right now. In the name of Jesus, I judge those spirits for taking your heart captive and I command you have wholeness of soul. Broken heartedness be healed right now. Every piece, every piece, every piece, every piece. Right now, right now. Thank you. Hallelujah. Megan. Neck pain. Neck pain. And then back. How long have you had it? It's been a while. I just kind of ignore it. Like, eh, you know, because you work and you think, oh, maybe it's because of sitting down all day long. But Is it all the time? Yeah, all the time. What's What level? One to ten? Um, it can be between five and seven, just depending. Five on, and seven? Yeah. Have you been through uh, any trauma lately? Lately. I've been through trauma my whole darn life, so. Okay, well, just... let's deal with that then. <laughs> now, be healed right now. Yeah. Be healed right now. Now drive that idolatry out of your back and out of your body in the name of Jesus right now. Yeah. So it's the shoulder and you. Yeah, so this shoulder they did uh, surgery on, and now this shoulder started <laughs> with this, and I also delivered. What did they say was wrong? They took uh, those nubbies, what it's called, the. Um, like bone spurs? Yeah, spurs. That's what it's called, spurs. So do they have them now on this? Is I that what's happening? I haven't seen yet, but I'm believing God's going to take it. I don't want no more surgery, girl. I got too much to do. Say, uh, I renounce the idolatrous spirit. I renounce the idolatrous spirit. That would attack my bones. That would attack my bones. And Father, if I've gotten bitter. Father, if I've gotten bitter. From the warfare. From the warfare. I repent of it. I repent of it. I judge that altar bitterness. I judge that altar bitterness. Inside my soul. Inside my soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I decree. And I decree. The serpent. The serpent. Has to stop carrying out the curse. Has to stop carrying out the on curse. On my body. On my body. Because that witchcraft curse. That witchcraft curse. That's been released against me. That's been released against is me. Is broken. Is broken. Because Jesus. Because Jesus. Already took the curse for me. Already took the curse for me. Now, there it is. Now, I cast that crippling spirit out in Jesus' name. Now, I want you to start lifting your... How does it feel? No pain? No pain? Okay, there you go. Oh, my God, thank you. <laughs> I don't want surgery no oh. more. I've been doing too much delivery this I don't got time. That's what that was. The same thing. Bro, well, I've been attacked. Yeah, that's what Telling it is. Me, stop prophesying. Stop laying hands. Stop yeah, no, laying. yeah, no. And I'm like, no, God no. wants me to do it. Amen, good. God wants okay. me to do it. I don't want to. Yeah. So I've been doing okay, sir. I've been, I've 
was watching you on TV because you're a great career team leader and she was doing the thing on judgment. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, I turned you on and you were talking about the Python oh, spirit. Yeah. Well, not the Python spirit, right? Not and you do an altar call. And so I'm in my living room and I praise the Lord. And I had been having this problem in my neck, right? Yeah. I had three surgeries on my neck, but then I got this, like, I didn't know. I couldn't, like, when I go to sing, I got <laughs> coughing and stuff. So you're watching so the Python watching teaching. It. Yeah. You've had something going on in your throat. What happened? <laughs> I'm standing in my living room and I'm doing the prayer with you. Yeah. And everything. And all yeah. of a sudden I start coughing, right? I start yeah. coughing, coughing. And I'm, like, ah, ah. and I'm like, oh my God, Lord, am I getting delivered? Ah! <laughs> am I getting delivered? Did it go away? Yes. And I can oh! see it. Like, so free. Oh, you had a snake around your neck. Oh my God. How do you feel? Oh, Is it gone now? Is it all gone? Well, what happened then? Because it was four months ago, like? Yeah. So it's starting to try to come back, right? So I came here. I was going to get a line. Did I have you come in agreement with me? And oh, yeah. No, no. Then? I judge you for returning in the name of Jesus. You cannot try to come back. Uh, you you were already removed by, by right. court decree and by the fire of God. And now if you keep on trying to come back and, and outlay another curse against her, you, that's impossible. Say the curse. The curse? It's already been taken by Jesus. It's already been taken by so Jesus. So it's broken. So it's broken. So you are illegally. Uh, you are illegally. Trying to carry out a curse. Trying to carry out a curse. That Christ already nailed to the cross. That Christ already nailed to the cross. You cannot mess with me anymore. You cannot mess with me I'm anymore. I'm full of the fire of God. I'm full of the fire of God. I have no landing strips in my soul. I have no landing strips in my they've soul. Because they've been burnt to a crisp. Because they've been burnt to a crisp. By the unquenchable fire of Jesus. By the unquenchable of the fire of Jesus. So now I lay a judgment against you. So now I lay a judgment against from you. From the Holy Court. From the Holy Court. Through ecstasy authority. To ecstasy authority. I release my power. I release my power. Of judicial decisions. And judicial decisions. Against you. Against you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You have to unwind. You have to unwind. You have to go to the pit. You go to the pit. You have to burn. You have to burn. And never return. And never return. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right. <laughs> okay. Love you. At the beginning of 1 Peter, he describes himself as a special messenger, a chosen vessel of Jesus. He's his representative. That's what all of us are. Whether we feel worthy of the call, God chose us. It's our responsibility he trusted us enough to carry his son within us. So whatever you came here with, your brokenness, your heartbreak, your addiction, your depression, your anger, your bitterness, your unforgiveness, you're mad at your husband, you're mad at your kids, you're mad at your family. I'm asking you right now to set it aside. Because all I want you to think about is Jesus. All I want you to think about is the encounter that you're going to have today. For what he's going to do in your mind, in your heart. All that other stuff, it's got to stay at the door. Stir yourself up. I want you to put down your phone for just a second. We're going to go back to it in a minute. But I want you to put one hand on your head because the, the mind is where a lot of the battle is. Okay? Put one hand on your head, one hand on your heart. And I want us to pray in tongues. And I want us to really pray in tongues. Like fiery tongues. Because as you do, rivers of living water are going to come out of your innermost being, your spirit, man. And it's going to flow through your hands. It's going to flow into your soul. It's going to flow into your mind to break off those tormenting thoughts. To break off the memories that have been haunting you for generations, for, for decades, for years. All of those things right now. Pray in tongues right now. Release. The power of the Holy Ghost right now upon your mind. Lay hands on yourself right now. Pray in tongues. Fight for your healing. Be like the woman with the issue of blood. Break your way through the crowd, the crowded noise of your mind. Press through. Press through. Right now. Some of you are already getting healed. I see some of you having your eyes water, some of your tears coming out. That's a sign that you're being delivered of that pain in your soul. Now I want you all to stand up and come up to the altar. Because we're going to sing, and as we sing, we're going to get healing. We're going to have...
breakthrough in your soul, breakthrough in your body, breakthrough in your family, breakthrough in your marriage, breakthrough for your children, breakthrough for your finances. Can you feel the screws? Oh yeah, and it's you can feel them with your finger. And crunching and all this crazy okay, so you stuff. can feel it with your fingers. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then, uh, can you feel the rod? Oh yeah. You can feel the rod yeah. with your fingers. I don't like to touch it. What's the pain in your back? What level? One to uh, ten. This has been going back and forth between a seven and a nine, but I have a high threshold of pain. Okay. I release the fire of God on your soul right now. To burn up every bit of trauma that you've been storing in your soul and your body right now in the name of Jesus right now right now right now in the name of Jesus right now I thank you God right now heal every root of trauma take out every root of trauma make the brain flourish while the trauma is removed from the brain while it's removed from the soul now command that crippling spirit to come out you come out 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 of the back, right now, out of the back, right now, out, 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 out. Do you have metal? Yes, my foot is causing damage and I have nerve pain and I can barely walk on it most days. It's causing my toe to go that way. So this curse. Cannot continue, to land. cannot continue to land, and all crippling spirits, all crippling spirits must, be judged must be judged in the name of Jesus name now. Of Jesus. Now, right now, I'm going to pray for you now. Father, now heal Kelly right now and every part of her of all the trauma she's been through, God. Right now, in Jesus' name, right now. And I command pain, you go out, 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 out. Crippling spirit, out, 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 out. By judgment of the court, out. In Jesus' name, out. Okay, now stomp your foot three times. Stomp your foot. Okay, how's your pain? How's your pain? No pain? No pain? I could not do that. Okay. Yeah? Okay. What did you have, Kelly? Uh, pain in my foot. I had rods and pins and a plate in my foot. And um, I had a doghouse that landed on my toes, shoved it backwards, all my nerves and everything. And uh, my small toe is like going to the other side caused me pain every single day what was your level of pain it was about a nine right now what did you, uh, how long have you had that now nine pain every day how long oh uh, maybe 10 years 10 years 10 years of being in a nine pain every day okay what's your level of pain right now zero could you have stomped your feet like that before no, do it again. How's that feel? I couldn't even walk across the field. You couldn't even walk across the field. And now you're stomping your feet. Can we give God a praise? Hallelujah. What's your name, honey? Alora. What did you have, Alora? I had a metal cage in my back with several screws throughout my spine and a fusion. Um, a surgery I had just a couple years ago, my back was literally broken in two. They didn't even know how I was walking, and I've been walking around for years like that. And uh, what kind of pain did it give you, honey? Oh, like a seven to nine, and on my threshold scale, like that, like that's huge. Yeah, you told me that they they can't even anesthetize you for surgery because you wake up from the. My neurosurgeon, my neurosurgeon was like, you don't even feel pain. Like, so you have a high threshold of pain. Yeah. And even with that, you still were having a seven to nine pain every day. Yeah. Yeah. Every, every day. So you had a cage, you had a rod, is that right? Uh, yeah, so there's a cage and multiple screws. And then a month and a half ago, I had to go back into the neurosurgeon. They did a CT scan, and apparently my bones were crumbling around the screws and everything. He basically said, we need to do another surgery. We're going to have to throw the whole kitchen sink at it. And I was just like, great, it's documented. I'm going to believe God to like totally heal this and remove this. And there's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing? There's nothing. There's, There's no pain? There's no pain. You said you could feel the screws before. I can't feel the screws. You, okay, so you, you did. You told me I could feel the screws before. Can you feel the screws now? No, and I can't feel the cage either, and I'm never, like, touching my back there. It's like, ah! So you can't feel the screws, you can't feel the cage, and you can touch your back where it was so tender with inflammation you couldn't even touch it 
What? Yeah, just a little while ago? Nerve pain. Nerve yeah. pain. Yeah. How do you, do you dig at it, dig. Let's make sure. Dig really hard. Try to find that case. Try to find them screws. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> oh my God. Hallelujah. Can we give God a praise, please? Thank you, Lord. Take this cup. I want you to say the cross, the cross is, the is the place where Jesus crushed the head of the serpent. Where, Jesus crushed the head of the serpent. where he took idolatry. Where he took idolatry. Where he defeated all of the enemy's works. Where he defeated all of the enemy's works. If I, as I partake of this, as I partake of this, then the serpent's head will be crushed. The serpent's head will be crushed. And we'll have to let go of my lungs. And we'll have to let go of my lungs. All right, it's okay, it's all right. Don't be traumatized. I'm not traumatized. Oh, what is it, honey? What? I'm breathing deeper. You are breathing it's deeper? Okay, it's happening now then, amen? Let's take some more bread, okay? More life, more life. Take that in. I declare you're taking in living bread and it's ministering to your lungs and your soul. Worship. Jesus, Jesus, how do you feel, honey? Breathing deeper, 10% better, 20% better, 30% better. I don't know. It's okay. I can't, I can't give you a number. It's all right, but it's better. I got a Holy Spirit high, I can't think. <laughs> Ha 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 